<laughs> Hold on. Check here. It seems it is me <laughs> going, hey, by the way, I'm going to be live streaming. I'm a little older than most people that use tweets daily. Uh, I'm not sure, like, really popular, but I suppose that does happen. But, okay, let me bring up him. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and just close that. Yeah, so sorry guys, hiccups at the start here. And that very annoying squeaky chair. Okay, alright. Trying to see how I'm looking here on. Get that to load. <laughs> uh, all right. So, well, here's how it is, guys. I just got Destiny 2 on PC because of me being a uh, Part of uh, Humble Bundle, their uh, 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 their monthly subscription gives you a bunch of free games, and this month uh, is Destiny Two. So for twelve dollars, I got Destiny Two, which is still being charged for full price, especially on PC. Uh, <laughs> So I was more than happy for that, because uh, I'm a big Destiny 2 player on console. But I'm playing on, an, you know, the older PS4, so it's only 720p. So then I loaded up on my PC this uh, this morning before I went to work, and it is phenomenal in 1080. It's it's really crazy. Um, so all I've done so far is quite literally uh, given the uh, sorry, uh, eh. all I've done is created my character and then uh, because uh, so when I'm streaming I absolutely hate the Twitch app and that's just me it's not very interactive with what you want to get done it's just pain in the ass <laughs> Because I want to see if I'm streaming properly. 
and all you know, all I can view is my chat and stuff like that, which is just super annoying to me. Crazy annoying to me. Um, So, <laughs> I am just trying to see if I can possibly view my own stream here to see if I'm coming through properly and if my, my screen overlay is working. So, let's search for myself. Is this working at all? Yeah, so it's, it's not even loaded. I, uh, yeah. Let me rephrase. I won't know until after the stupid ad. Oh my god. And this is. Bruce <laughs> Traver, by the way. <laughs> you be my greatest or my main hashtag just because I legitimately still suck at getting this set up and it's just how it is all right so yes my uh, game capture is not capturing see me it is me in this corner here so let me uh eh. let's do some on-air editing why not <laughs> uh, okay um so this is turning into quite literally a just Absolute nightmare. Give me just a minute here. Hopefully only a minute. Right. Okay, oh, let me bring that back up. This is turning out way worse than I wanted it to. Great job. Kermone being a total and idiotic streamer. So. Okay, yeah, now I'm back. <laughs> having, or I'm having to, in the middle of a stream, uh, set up, it's, hey guys, here's an OBS tutorial. <laughs> uh, okay, game capture. See if it's gonna work. Please, please work, cause yeah, th this will be a very short-lived stream. <sighs> Again, just black screen. Oh, obvious. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> All right. Uh, no, wrong thing to edit. So let's just do 
any full screen application. All right, now let's try. Let's see if that'll do. Okay, guys, I have no idea what's going wrong here. So this may be the shortest stream I've done yet. Failed stream diaries, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. It's going to be an absolute failure. I love this record, by the way. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Let's look up everything that you've ever done. Alright, uh, I just don't know what is going wrong. Uh, freaking crap. Um, <laughs> okay, this is just not working whatsoever. No matter what I want to do. So, no, yep, it's not out now. So you know what guys, we're going to exit and we're going to try doing this again. Let me reload it after this is going and let me go with specific window. See if I can get this to actually work because nothing's working. But, uh, play. Oh. Hey guys, got an idea. Let's fail miserably. <laughs> uh, if anything else, at least I'm. Uh, at least I'm having fun, you know, being stupid, right? Alright, so, alright, let's see what the problem is. I do not want to do the game overlay for this because it's not how I wanted to do this. I, I'm not kidding when I say that this is truly frustrating and I'm tired as hell. 
but I thought, hey, it'd be a good way to test myself, try screaming while I'm tired, see how this works. It's working freaking great. Freaking great. So while I'm trying to get this all set up, I'm gonna... Uh, sorry for the noises. Uh, I will explain how my day goes being a retail worker. If you've never worked in retail, I strongly believe that every person should work in retail for one year of their life. Because if everyone had to do that, like make it mandatory for a college to pass as a sociological experiment, one year of their life, their classroom is their on the job training in retail. And then maybe, just maybe, people might actually have a little bit of, how do I want to say it? Let's go with one dude. Okay, so now my window is larger. Let me... is not even letting me get my de my destiny to oh my god what's <laughs> this is just not working no matter what I do right now which is just epic to me by the way <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting uh, I'm not gonna lie I'm getting rather uh aggravated here, which doesn't seem so, I guess, because I'm being a little bit, anyway, you would have a, if you, back to my little bit of a story while I'm going with this, if you worked retail for one year of your life, you would have a lot more respect for people, in, especially in a public place. I have been cussed out ridiculed, just bullied in general, if I can't provide a, a, a answer that people find, you know, if they, if they don't get exactly what they want, people get so pissy and childish that it just really... Oh, there's my display capture, guys. Ah, oh, yeah. So let's do that. And then we're going to go full screen on that. And then you don't get to see anything. Yeah, see? You don't get to see a damn thing. All right. <laughs> let's remove that. But um, when you work in retail, you see some of the worst of humanity. As far as just total disrespect for every person around them. But you also do get uh, to meet some very, very good people. Uh, why is my screen blank? Okay. Might be figuring out. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Da, da, da. Yeah, again, I'm still not catching a single thing, guys. So this is just turning into me talking about retail. Okay. So uh, let me tell you some entertaining stories while I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong here. <laughs> um, I once was answering a phone call for an electronics department somebody wanted to know if we had a movie and I, I specifically remember what movie this is because this uh, was such a funny thing to me uh, because keep in mind I'm laughing like the whole time this is happening because uh, I can't take a word of it seriously so I go in and or I answer the phone call. Yeah, no, you we can't. Uh, and suddenly, oh my video capture device. Da -da. Okay, yep. Yeah, sorry, I hit myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I had like I said, I had a lady call in asking if we had a movie. It was Patch Adams, and this was uh several years ago, but it would, you know, it's a classic to a lot of people, so I was like, eh, I'll check, but I doubt it. And so I check, and of course, no, we do not have the uh, the movie in stock. We, we don't even carry the movie. So... I proceed to inform the lady, I'm sorry, we just don't seem to carry it here in the store. But you can probably order it from, you know, offline. So, they hang up the phone, or they thank me for my time, uh, and hung up the phone. And next thing I know, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so over, I'm sorry. I'm just so over trying to stream this now. I'm just, I'm, I'm ending even trying to do this. <laughs> I, let me just get back to my full camera and I'll just talk for a little bit and then I'll end the stream. <laughs> so the lady, uh, like I said, she thanked me for my time and she hung up. And so I'm walking away from the counter and the phone rings again. Well, I don't necessarily know it's for my department, but, but I, get, I answered anyway. And I am greeted by a woman that says, okay, can I speak to the associate in electronics? I'm like, uh, yes, ma'am, actually that's me. <laughs> she, she then proceeds to say, um, my daughter called a few minutes ago about a, a movie. I was like, yes, Patch Adams, right? And she goes, yeah. And uh, she then goes, so my daughter just wanted to say she thinks you sound cute. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, well, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I mean, <laughs> and then, like, innocent, I guess, enough. And I, I'm just kind of laughing it off. And it gets worse because this lady then tries to set me up with her daughter over the phone, never meeting me before. Uh, and then when she found out my age, she goes, oh, well, my daughter's a little a little older than you then, but my granddaughter, she's not married. And I, I'm just sitting there going, Re okay, well, um, uh, thanks anyway. Uh, and she proceeds to tell me that uh, one of my co-workers actually knows them and can show me a picture of her granddaughter. And I'm just like, uh, okay, well, thank you very much, ma'am. I'm sorry, but uh, I need to, you know, I've got to get back to work here. So I hang up the phone. 
laughing just hysterically for hours about this because it's so absurd. It's just like, <laughs> who does that, right? So a few days later, I ran into the coworker they uh, they said knew them, and I I just jokingly said, I was I you know I couldn't take a bit of that seriously. I was laughing so hard, and the girl goes, Oh no, they were serious. They were dead serious. And I'm going, what? Okay. And then she then did proceed to show me a picture of the granddaughter on her phone. On her phone. And I laughed. Uh, I, well, I'm laughing about it bad now because it was such an absurd situation. But the uh, girl was very pretty. I just, I'm not one of those types that just goes, hey, you know, I'm just <laughs> that way I'm kind of. It, it takes a lot of trust for me to even go to the stage of, hey, you want to go out? You know, I'm just, and I just don't whimsically go, hey, um, let's just go on a date. No, I, I don't do that. <laughs> Sometimes wish you could, but um, that was that was one day. And I, I've been in retail for eight years. So I've got some really fun other stories. Um, had a guy call me asking questions, uh, so I'm you know I'm answering the best I can. I do know you know I'm giving him the proper information and everything, and he's the whole time telling racist jokes, which is he. I'm, I'm kind of weird. I, th I find race, a lot of racist jokes funny. They're not PC, of course. But I don't get easily offended by that stuff. I just, you know, I think it's funny and then I move on. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, but I know I've known a lot of people that get super hot about that stuff. Uh, rightfully so. If they feel slighted by it, you know, they have every right to be angry about it and everything, but, you know, it's not like being offended, you know, changes too much other than the person may be changing that way and not speaking that, uh, that way, but it doesn't, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't prevent racism by just being offended, because something, if a person's a racist, they're going to until something drastic happens and they get their eyes open, they're probably still going to be that way. And I've, I've known a lot, and I personally don't care for that um, mentality at all. Because there's no room for being open-minded when you're that closed off. But as, as he's telling me these jokes, I'm kind of, you know, going, okay, I'm, I'm getting kind of really fed up with these. And then he goes, or he tells me, uh, a, one final one before he goes and he asks me if I can guess the punchline and I guess it you know straight on within a split second and he goes oh you just made my night and he's laughing the whole time and I'm I'm just like okay sure click <sighs> Had a, uh, something about uh, people wanting to come into a retail store that sells clothing and modeling clothes that were not meant for them. Uh, that one's always fun. Had, um, had some interesting experiences with that. Uh, like I said, there, there's a lot of good experiences too. I mean, you meet some really nice people that are just there, you know, trying to get what they need to go and get and get out of the store, go on with their day. Then you have people that are, they seem to go there just looking for a fight. And that's what ruins it for everyone. The people with that mentality are what <laughs> cause so many of the restrictive rules that go into society. Because just idiots. That's the only thing I say. Wow. Okay, I've just been rambling for 10-15 minutes now.
So, yeah, I'm going to stop this and I don't know, I might just pick up streaming on my PS4 for now. I can't until I can figure out what is going wrong with this. I I'm not gonna be streaming the Destiny 2 on PC. Which is really sad for me actually because a fresh start, new characters, uh, and I I have the DLCs, so I can literally I want to run straight through the entirety of all of Destiny 2 story. Provided I can level up properly and fast enough. And that would be, you know, pretty long, long experience. But generally speaking, I can get through... Because I've done solo on Destiny 2 for so long. I can get through all the story missions solo. I think I cleared... Oh, wow. Curse of Osiris expansion, I cleared that content in less than six hours. And that was with me taking breaks to go outside to smoke, to go, you know, get a drink, stuff like that. I uh, did it in probably around the same time for Warmind. Um, and the original story, I, I had all three characters through the story in... I'm going to say like 12 hours to 15 hours. Because once you go through it the first time, you pretty much know where everything is. So, it's like, oh, there's no point searching right here. I know there's nothing to do here, so let's move on. Uh, but I, want, I, want, I did want to do that. So, I'm probably not going to play Destiny 2 on my PC until I can figure this out. Uh, just do some test runs. Uh, for just recording, seeing if it'll work. Because I don't know what's going wrong with my settings. It's OBS is not wanting to pick it up. And I've tried windowed, I've tried uh, on windowed. The only time it picked up anything was when I went to actual desktop or, uh, view, essentially. <sighs> so that's super disappointing to me. And I don't really have any projects on ARC for PC right now. Because mainly with ARC on PC, I, I, I like to just do mod testing. And I, I did a massive stream. Um, it was like a four and a half hour stream a little while back for the Bigger Creatures mod. And I enjoyed that one tremendously. But like an idiot at the last like 15, 20 minutes of the video, I forgot I had myself muted. So it was just, that was not fun. Finding that out, I was so pissed at myself. So, like I said, I'm tired, so I'm rambling. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Uh, Fail stream diaries, volume three now. <laughs> Catch you in the next one, guys. Later.